death to the symmetrical triangle pattern that we were watching in Bitcoin, or is it? So we're planning on doing an altcoin price analysis on today's video, but due to Bitcoin's drop today, when we requested what altcoins you guys wanted to see, a bunch of people were requesting Bitcoin. So instead of doing the altcoin video today, we're gonna go ahead and cover Bitcoin because as you know, all altcoins follow Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is the most important coin, right? So today we're covering Bitcoin's price movements and then tomorrow we will do the altcoin price analysis. So keep sending in your requests for the altcoins that you want to see in tomorrow's video. We will cover five different coins, whichever other top five that are requested you can also request the coins that you want to see in tomorrow's video in the comments below also you will want to stay tuned till the end in this video because we will cover some possible trade setups for you guys to make some profits if we get this bounce Hey, what's up? Jay here. Welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So make sure to subscribe, like, share this video. Also turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post new videos every day. Alrighty guys, so let's jump right in guys. A lot of you are worried about what is currently going on here. So let me go ahead and uh, let's just jump right into these details, into these charts so the first thing is bitcoin broke the symmetrical triangle that we were following right so this was a break here as you can see we changed up the lines a bit so we've been looking over this chart and trying to find uh, different possible scenarios different possible supports and this is currently what we got so we're looking at bitcoin in the daily chart and even though the shorter term symmetrical triangle was broken there is a longer term support in play here as you guys can see here we have this support that kind of started down here then we had a second touch here we had a third touch here and then currently we're on the fourth touch right so this makes it a, a pretty powerful support support here and it might go back even further this is just where um, I just decided to start drawing it from there I wanted to I was trying to connect the dots at from there you know what I mean at that point another thing that we're also watching that caught our eye here is this pattern right here so basically the impulse move up and then this right here so as you guys know this is a bull flag pattern where we have the big impulse move up then we have consolidation within the bull flag right so that's another pattern that's currently in play as you guys can see for the most part it's been respecting both the top as you guys can see two touches here basically a third touch there and the bottom as you guys can see it was it kind of broke it when we had that big uh push down but then hopped right back into it and it's been respecting the lines ever since so that's the other thing that we're watching that's a bull flag which is a bullish pattern then if we go ahead and jump into the four hour and zoom in a bit as you guys can see here on the four hour chart we got basically denied here and here which is what's currently sent us down right so that right there is a 23.6 percent fibonacci zone that's currently where we haven't been able to get over so we spoke about this level on the bounce here that we needed to get past this level we spoke about that on monday and as you guys can see we tried right but we couldn't get past it the other thing that we had we had a second resistance here basically which was this uh descending resistance line right that started up up here then we got rejected there got rejected there and this is basically the fourth rejection here. So that's another line that we have at play here that's currently also, you know, there's sellers coming in at every time it gets there. But this is a bullish sign right here, as you guys can see. So we dropped below this, this support that was basically holding us up this whole time and held us up during the weekend, but it did not hold us up here today. 
So as soon as we broke that support, we of course got a bunch of sellers come in, which is what pushed the price down so far. So basically it went to a low of 33,333, right? So I guess they, they really wanted to see those threes. But what's been the theme of this entire cycle is buy the dip. So as you guys can see, this is a very bullish pin bar setting up here on the four hour chart. And, and you can see buyers are coming back in. Now you have to be careful because we're not out of the woodworks yet, right? This could be what's called a dead cat bounce, which is when the price tries to push up a little bit and there's not enough, uh, sell, there's not enough buyers and then sellers just push it down lower than before, right? So, so it will go something like this where it gets pushed down, then there's a little bounce and then it continues down. Basically, this would be the next support there, right? So we're watching for that where the test will probably be is right here around that 35K range. So we need a push on this price. We need a push back above this 35K. So then we can possibly hold that 35K, that Fibonacci level as a support here and possibly be able to test the top of this once again, which is right above, right there around that 37.7 thousand range. So in this scenario that we don't, that we're not able to break this and that we do continue down, the next support here that we're watching is the 0.5, 50% Fibonacci level. That's right at that 32.7.8 range. Then the next one below that is this one right here, which is right at that 30K range. That's the 61.8. 8% Fibonacci level. That's also, which is happens to be the golden ratio, right? That's also where we've got a uh, bought up right here. When we had this, the push down, we got bought up here last week when we had the push down as well. So that's going to be a very, very strong support there, which is, the, and it's also of course the $30,000 mark, which is a huge and major psychological whole number. That's currently what I'm expecting. Then if it continues down and we end up pushing below this, remember we have this, what could be a bull flag here, right? So if this is indeed a bull flag and respects this support, this could be uh, something else that plays out. It would be something like this. So the price could kind of go around here, right? If we have a bounce here, then we know for sure that um, it's respecting those lines and we have a possible bull flag setting up. But this is on the longer term, so because you have to zoom out a bit to the daily to kind of really see this pattern. Now remember that the longer term patterns are always better than shorter term patterns, but they do take longer to develop. So that's why we, we usually focus on the four hour patterns, right? So if this support here holds, then we're, we're basically going to bounce right up to this one right here, to this resistance, which is 35K. If we could break above there, then I see no reason why we shouldn't push back up to this range to basically yesterday's highs. So which would be around that area is kind of where I would believe that uh, that we could push up to. But again, this is a going to be very, very strong resistance. As you guys can see, we've been rejected and rejected there uh, twice already. Um, we were also rejected there, but we were able to push above that at that point. So that's the, the level that you should be watching. Okay. Very important. So the last thing is the bearish case scenario that we spoke about on Friday's video. As you guys can see here, this was the all time highs. Then we had a lower high, lower high, lower high. And it's kind of, you know, it's been following this resistance, this descending resistance right here, right? So the good news is we haven't made a lower low yet, right? Um, so in order to make a lower low, we'd have to break through this support and basically break down here. And that will lead us back to that 27K range around here. Alrighty guys, I know you guys are worried, but hopefully you have, you're finding value and getting some value from this video today. And hopefully I can now give you guys some trade setups that will make you guys profits in, you know, the coming hours, coming days, whatever it may be. So guys, make sure to subscribe. If you have not done so yet, make sure to hit that like button. If you're getting value from this content and make sure to turn on that notification bell. It helps us all a ton to continue spreading this 
crypto adoption. So let's get into some trades. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and talk about some possible trade setups that we can take if we see a bounce here. So the, the main trade setup that I'm currently watching will be right in this area, that 34K area, possibly 34 and a half, 34.5K. So that's one area I'm looking at. We're currently above 34 and 34.5, but if we were to, to test it again, it's a possible entry that you can take on a bounce up. The next one, if we don't, you know, if we don't head back to 34K, then the next one is that 35K area, which is this. Look at this right here. Look at all this price action, all this price action, um, price action, right? So it's obviously a very, very big area of interest. There's also the Fibonacci level. It's off also the halfway point to 30K and to 40K. So it's a big number. It's a big psychological number. People like the number fives as well. So above on a break above 35K, that will be the safest trade to take. The, the 34K one is more high risk, I would say, because you're right, literally right on the line. And there's not much space here, you know, for it to go. You could just, you, you could take an entry at 34, get rejected at 35 and then drop down, right? I mean, you'll make a little bit of profits, but the safer bet is this 35K entry. So if we see a bounce above 35K, then that's a breakout entry that you guys can take. And I mean, this could go all the way up basically to this resistance right here, which is around that 37,000 area, right? So so the 35K entry could take us up, up to about 36 to 37,000. So that's the main entry that I will be watching for today and the rest of this week. Now, if we do drop in the scenario that we do continue to drop here, we will be watching, of course, this area right here, which is the 50% Fib level, right? And that's gonna be right around that 37 to 33,000 area. So what I would like to see here in order for me to take a trade is a test if we dropped below this, which hopefully we don't, but in the you have to be ready for both case scenarios. In the event that we do drop, right, I would be watching for a bounce back. Now, when it bounces back is when I'd be looking to enter right at that 33,000 mark, right? So uh, usually the way uh, drops work, it'll drop below it and then come back up, right? So on the way back up is kind of where I would make my order right there and try to ride that up, possibly back up to 35K area. So that's the uh, setup that I'd be looking at if we continue down. And of course, if we continue below that, then the golden ratio 61.8% which is also 30K, that will be my next area to looking to buy. And same thing, just kind of looking for a test and a bounce. And I wanna, I wanna enter once I see that bounce. So that is pretty much it guys. Um, that's currently what we're watching right now on the charts. I know some of you are a little, a little scared. You might've bought, you know, towards the 40K area. Long term, this, these moves don't matter guys. This is normal consolidation. We're in oversold territory still on the weekly chart. So that's something you have to keep in mind. And we're just currently consolidating, you know, uh, December, November, December, we had huge moves, guys. You gotta keep that in mind. And, and Bitcoin is still currently up year to date. So right now we're just, just kind of waiting, being patient and taking whatever trades come to us. So uh, there's no reason to panic. There's no reason to sell. We're holding strong and we are buying the dips. We recommend you guys also buy the dips. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. As always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to turn on the notification bell and share this video. We want to spread this knowledge of crypto to the masses, right? We want crypto. We believe that crypto will hit 50K in the coming months. And uh, we believe that during this bull run, this bull cycle, we could hit beyond 50,000 as well. Thank you guys. If you stay to the end, make sure to drop a comment and let us know um, what altcoin you guys would want to see on tomorrow's video. And we will do a price analysis on the top five altcoins requested. Stay safe, guys. Don't panic. Just hold. And as always, peace and love.